Ladles and jelly spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, these. <laughs> uh, these are fence posts, or they will be when I'm finished with them. Um, long time viewers will may well be aware that my daughter is uh, very fond of dinosaurs. Uh, in fact, the first model she ever made was a T-Rex, uh, which we actually did a video on a while back. And uh, she's also very keen on the Jurassic Park uh, franchise. And she has many toy dinosaurs that she plays with frequently. And she asked me to make her a fence. And she wanted something reminiscent of the T-Rex the enclosure from, from Jurassic Park. So uh, that's what we're going to make today. So let's get on with it. Right, so these um, posts are 3D printed, as you can probably see. Um, you can probably also hear I've got some on the printer right now. Uh, and basically, I designed these very quickly in, in Tinkercad. Uh, they're nothing very special. They're, they're basically a series of primitives. Um, and I have put some holes in them. These holes are two millimeter, uh, but you can basically make the holes any size you want. And basically, the way it works, I'm gonna use two of these, uh, like that, and then have some, some bars in between them. And for the bars, I'm using these. Uh, these are bamboo skewers. These particular ones came from Asda, uh, a pound for a hundred, so quite good value. And uh, basically what you do is you just cut them to the length you want and stick them in the holes. Now, one of the things I've found with 3D printing is unless you have your printer absolutely dialed in, which is next to impossible, I've found, um, I generally m make the holes smaller than they need to be and then drill them out to fit. Now these skewers I have measured and they are three millimeters in diameter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these over to the drill press and uh, drill these holes out to three millimeter. So that's next. Right, so here we are at the drill press. I've got a three millimeter bit in the drill. Uh, now obviously you could do this with, you know, a pin vise or a hand drill. Uh, I just use the pillar drill because I have one. So, and all we do is just drill out each hole to three millimeters. Now obviously we need two for each section of fence. I'm doing this kind of modular so that she can set it up however she wants it. And there we go, easy as that. Now what I'm doing on these ones is something a little bit different. So I'm only drilling out, if you'll notice, the top two holes and the bottom hole. like that. And now I'm going to switch bits. So now I've got a two millimeter bit in the drill and I'm going to drill out these other three holes. And I'll show you what that's for in a minute. Right, now we need to cut these out. So basically we've got one, two, three, four, five, six holes in each post. And we've determined that the ideal length for these things is about 15 millimeters. 15 millimeters, sorry, 15 centimeters, 150 millimeters. So what we do is we get six of our bamboo skewers and we line them up and then we get this. Now this is a dovetailing saw. Um, it's probably not something a lot of people have got. Uh, I, I do a lot of woodworking, so I have this. But basically you could use, you can cut these with a hobby knife or anything. I use this because it's easier. Um, but this is a very, it's a short blade and it has this big brass backing on it to make the blade really stiff to give you straight cuts. So basically we just line up all of our skewers like that 
and we go to the 150 mil mark like that move that out of the way and we start cutting what you can do if you don't want to cut all the way through is once you've got that halfway through you can just break them like that so we'll get rid of these bits we don't need those and just take these and just snap them like that like I say, you can cut these with a hobby knife or anything really. Just score them and then snap them. So that's that. Now we can start putting it together. Now to put these together, it's really very simple. We just take one of our sides. We push the sticks in like that. Just push them right through so that they're down firmly on the table, like so. Get rid of that bit of plastic. Like that. Then we just take a normal bit of super glue and that one's a bit small actually, never mind. Basically we just go onto the back and just put a bit of super glue on each one like that wipe off any excess and then give it a quick squirt of super glue activator I mean you can just leave it to dry if you want but and there we go then we take the other side and we flip this over this is where it gets the fun starts because now you've got to line them all up on this side but it's not particularly difficult do the same thing just push them right through like that and then glue them again so same again bit of super glue quick spritz of accelerant and there we have our first fence panel done so we'll just put that to one side for a minute because you're probably wondering what I'm going to do with these ones that have got the different sized holes well I'll show you so what we need to do is get three more of our skewers and we glue them in the holes that we prepared if you find some of these are a bit oversized which some of them are you can just um, take a knife and just kind of just shave them down slightly and then you see they'll fit fine so again, we're in the top two holes and the bottom hole. Right, so we'll glue these in the same as we did the others. Right, and there's that. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, what are you going to do with the other holes? I will show you. Wait one moment. Right, what I've got here is a piece of three-core uh, cable. Uh, I recently actually rewired the workshop, so <laughs> I kept all the old wire. So what we do is just get a pair of strippers and just cut the outer insulation off. You can just run a knife down it and do it, but I find it's just as easy to do it like this. And then just pull that off. Like that. Now what we've got in here is two cores and then one uninsulated one, which is the earth. So we'll put that to one side. I've got another bit here that I uh, cut earlier. Here's one I prepared earlier, as they used to say. 
and basically what we do is we pop that in there and we pop that end in there like that and then we pop that in there and pop that end in there because this cable is two millimeters so that's why I drilled the two mil holes you see and then we pop that in there and that in that end and then again a little drop of super glue just to hold it and on these ones I actually put some on the inside as well just to make sure and then flip it over and do the other side like that and then again to hold it in place now we'll let that dry for a second right so there we go we've got that now what we do is we take a pair of side cutters and we cut these wires like that roughly in the middle and we bend them like that and now you've got a broken section of fence um, that a dinosaur's escaped through. That was a specific request from my daughter to have a few broken pieces so that she can have the dinosaurs escaping. <laughs> so there we go. So let's go and put a bit of a uh, bit of paint on these and then see what they look like. And after a quick spritz with some uh, grey primer, here is our finished article or articles. Um, as you can see, we've got them all laid out. My daughter's been playing with them. She's uh, mildly content apparently uh, but as you can see we've recreated the uh one of the pivotal scenes from the first film and um yeah she's very happy with these so yeah that was it really it's quite a simple little project but just goes to show you some sort of quick things you can make with 3d printing and a few you know cocktail sticks or bamboo skewers as the case may be so yeah hopefully this was of uh, interest to some of you and uh, i'll see you on the next one cheers bye Thank you.